Louis, I know you've done a lot of great work uh, with many different organizations. You know, can you maybe start connecting the dots on some of the potential you know, areas of how the technology specifics around data security really became better understood once the business outcomes that were desired by the organization were truly do documented out and now the people kind of between those teams were working with one another. Yeah, I think one of the one of the good examples that we have is with a telco in the UK, where uh, and this this is a really this is a really interesting one. They 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 gather obviously as a telco they they pick up a hell of an amount of information from a whole bunch of customers who are basically just from the phones connecting to the cell towers, and they can very accurately geolocate a a particular customer anywhere they are, and this has incredible value but it's also uh incredibly radioactive from a privacy standpoint the thing is obviously this day the, the the question that they had was that uh how do we derive that value and how do we make money from that value how do we make a business case out of it because and and I'll, I'll i'll go into a couple examples later on without um w uh, without obviously trading the um the privacy rights of the customers in question right mm -hmm. and so what they wanted to do was basically from this geolocation data right was to be able to do, uh, derive and understand from the statistics that they could get from all these from all these people walk literally walking down the street make a very accurate assessment of what the foot traffic is in front of, give, of a given store or in front of a given billboard and obviously the foot traffic in front of a given billboard or store you, you can start uh, you you can start calculating and putting dollar values on the exposure that a particular advertisement have or has or a particular storefront has this is uh, this is a whole new world of business that telcos can come in and advise real estate companies advertisement companies who who can now have this um, uh, quantitative assessment of the real exposure that they get from uh fr from a brick and mortar building or 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 a, a billboard in the real world and the and the only only the way they could do that is through anonymizing the data set mm -hmm. and the best business case that they could come up was to play around with pseudonymized data leveraging our technology and actually renting out access discrete access to um to the companies via a subscription model which uh, which is incredibly appealing for both parties because it also you, you also get to see like the trend and it's not a fixed picture you actually see the full data set and see how it evolves over time which is also which is also incredible because you incredibly useful because you see seasonality you see the impact of roadworks you see you see all these crazy things that you wouldn't ne necessarily see with a fixed data set and and this was a, a really 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 big differentiator for them as a telco company because all telco companies sell data the thing is the fact that they could sell this live data set on mass this big data as as phil was talking about just now it was in incredibly valuable yeah but i think you just hit on a key point right so that's that's one of the business outcomes which is that telco was able to really a couple of things right differentiate themselves competitively from other telcos because of that not just collecting data right they've all been collecting data for years as you mentioned it's that they're able to actually provide it in a manner where it's truly anonymized, still driving insights that the organizations that they're you know, working with and B2B models are able to get value out of. So that's great from a competitive perspective, but it's also great from a additional line of revenue or increasing right and growth and in revenue. So perfect example.